Number seven then from paper two, the 2021 Advanced Higher Maths resource paper. Six marks, complex numbers. What does it say? A complex number is given by this. Z is A, some unknown positive number, plus two lots of I. Part A, state and simplify the binomial expansion of this cubed for three marks. Well, you probably remember the coefficients of the binomial expansion anyway, but if you don't, you just put down little Pascal's triangle very quickly. One, one, add them, two, one, one, add them, three, add them, three, one. It should be one, three, three, one. So the binomial expansion with those coefficients would just be these two parts. I'm about to put it down here, first of all. A plus two I to the power three. We'd be start with this one with a high power and it can work down and start with this one at power zero and it can build up given the terms of these coefficients. So it start off as a to the power three. I think I'll just put that one in anyway, even though it's just power zero to begin with. Next, three times. Now that goes down to two. And that goes up to one, still a three. That goes down to one now, two i. That goes up to two, now back to just one. That goes down to zero. I know that's just a one, but it just keeps the pattern. Three, two, one, zero, zero, one, two, three. And then that goes up to three. So that would be the first mark. They've not actually got the threes and the ones. They've kept it in the form of three, zero for the combinations. But I'm presuming that would do just as well, you know, instead of putting things down like three, zero, three, one, and so on for the various parts. Which you would do if it was something bigger, I suppose, possibly. But now it says simplify it, right, simplify it. Well, power zero is just one, so that's just an A cubed. That just stays the same, so that'll be six I. So it'll be six A squared I. This one, I squared is negative one. Two squared is four, so that's negative 12 A. Last one, that's just a one. Now, I cubed would be I times I times I. Negative one times I, so that's negative. So that's minus, and two cubed is eight, minus eight I. So that's the second mark then for completing and tidying up the binomial expansion. Now, it's meant to be a complex number, so make it look like that. Write it in its two parts. So the real part would be, I've got a cubed minus 12a, and the imaginary parts is this, so I'll put plus, I've got a 6a squared minus 8 lots of i. So I make them happier. Now in part b, it says, given that z cubed plus 3z, let's back to these, is equal to b plus 148i, where b is the real number, what's the values of a and b? Well, all you're going to do is find out what this comes to. You know, I don't think you need to explicitly state that. We could just do the real part of it and pick it out of here and add on three of them, I think. So that's what I'm going to do. So taking the real part. The real part would be of z cubed, is this part, that's a cubed minus 12a, plus three times the real part of that is 3a, and the real part of that is b. Now you can see straight away that's not going to be any use to you just now because I've got no numbers. So let's take the imaginary parts. Now the imaginary parts of z, that's going to be 6a squared minus 8, and three lots of that imaginary part is going to be 6 and that should come to the 148. There's no point, you don't need to put the i's in, you're just equating the coefficients. Now that is useful because from that I can get a. So that's the bit I'll proceed with. Now there must be marks for that. Ooh, the first mark was actually for getting the whole expression, but that's not really necessary, is it? And then the second mark was for equating the real part and equating the imaginary part. I'm just going to leave it like that. Right, but I can proceed with this though, because this now says 6a squared minus 2 so bring the two across is 150. So a squared will be, dividing that in, is 25, which means a is five. It could be plus or minus, but it tells you a is greater than zero. So there was a mark for that part, the imaginary part. Now you can transfer over and put that into here. Because what this says is, don't need to tidy this up really. This says a cubed, minus nine lots of a 
is equal to B. So I can find B from that. So that means B is going to be 5 cubed minus 9 times 5. Right, so you can use your calculator if you want, but that's just what? 125 minus 45, so that's 80. So we equate the real parts. And then the final mark was for getting the two answers.